Hello everyone and welcome back to the Age of Empires 4 Norman campaign. Now we are back with Bayeux the third mission 1105 in Normandy William the Conqueror son ignited a bitter feud over control of their empire. Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother but he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother, Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. Alrighty, and there we are once again with, well, our retaliation that we're doing there. There is already some more forces coming as archers of the English. We can deploy these planks there. These spikes and are just very, very well protected against any melees or, well, archers or, yeah, horsemen that are riding into that. Fantastic. Destroy by you would be our option. Do I really have to? It's a really beautiful town. Alright, the king of course stands behind. As reinforcements are arriving. Burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrive to join his army. There they are. In all their glory, and there's more to come down there. By the looks of it. We're also getting introduced a bit into the grouping mechanics that this game offers. Let's actually move all of them at once now. Press forward. I can then choose my archers, for example, my longbow man. Um with the palace. All right, another skirmish. As we slaughter our way through English history and French history as it is now. All right, so this is done. We do need to march forward to Bayeux. Somewhere up there we have it. 
And as we know, this is only one of many steps to come. Blish approached Bayer and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Alrighty, we got some very heavy walls there. And a defensible location to construct it. So first of all, we need to find something. This is not going to be takeable here. Rather too heavily fortified, especially with stone walls. We cannot just attack them with our torches. So what we're going to need to do is we need to set up our own camp somewhere else. Let's just continue there. There's some more slaughtering to be had. What we can also see up there is that the what we were seeing is that the infantry was on the on the walls themselves. So yes, we can now finally deploy units on walls, which is pretty cool, I think. Alright, so this has been well slaughtered. Let's continue to that tower there. Which should be rather close already to that village that we want to take, or that camp that we want to take. Just outside of Bayeux. Of course we should always keep the king there in the middle because he just provides very beautiful bonuses there to all of my um, units. Alright, they're all fleeing. There's still a tower over there, but I think we have another target. Alright, there's only really one bridge up there, and this is the one that we need to cross. And once more, we face some more resistance. Very good. Let's take down the tower, and let's get over that bridge here. I just hope it can hold us. <laughs> and yes, we're also getting attacked by these archers up their wall there. We need to be more careful about our infantry because our archers will not be able to take down these towers so easily. Alright, next tower down. And then we should hopefully, without further resistance, march into this outpost there. And there it's coming up and more units, of course. And there's a forest village, so we become the forest king now. Yes, they don't really stand a chance here against so many archers especially. We've lost a lot of infantry, and we will have to replace them. Perfect. The forest village is ours, and we can finally start with proper training of more villagers. So they're no longer French, they're now English, please. Speak some proper language there. I probably shouldn't have said that. Now we are going to continue here with some more um, fields that we can build here now. Right, so those things. And also, already we have some lumber huts there, some lumber jacks that are working on that. Six villages still available. Do we have a gold deposit? There is a gold deposit down here. So let's just build us a, a smaller gold mine then right next here. Perfect. And also, do we have some research? There we have it. Increased villager gathering rate for food. We should definitely be doing that right away. Because it's just such a nice bonus overall. We also have some stable there. Or a stable. And that's basically it. Of course, we could train some horse men now. But I rather am the infantry type for this one. With the English. With that horseman that we've built, we however can scout ahead a bit. So there we have the, the majestic city of Bayeux. And in order to get in there, we do need definitely some more preparation, right? So this one is now... Yep, there is some more. I think we will also need to disrupt the economy of the enemy there a bit. So that we can't really train that many troops anymore. Also, we're training more. We do have a mission here. Build a blacksmith as our very first building. So let's go ahead and build this one. Uh, uh, we don't have a lot of space in this whole town. Let's have a blacksmith up there. So we can build this one. It's training. And of course, our major goal right now is to advance to the next era. And then also build some siege units that we are going to need. Some rams. Blacksmith has been built. And with that, we got some research here. Especially also the melee and ranged infantry can construct siege towers and battering rams. And I'm going to research that right away. So that means all our uh, melee and ranged infantry units can then build these rams on the field, provided we have enough wood. And wood is basically the keyword here. So we do need more foresters. And also, yeah, let's also build us another house there. Gotta say, I'm really digging the graphics. Much more beautiful than the technical test 
Sharper textures, better lighting. Okay, we have a lot of archers, almost no melee, so we need to be a bit careful here how we want to sort them. And I'm pretty sure that there's going to be another smaller attack. So let's also build us hmm, from here to here a nice palisade, right? So this village is going to build it for us. And also then here somewhere a gate. Yeah, probably just there. Okay, research siege engine has been completed as well. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. And there we can see them, the battering ram. High ranged armor, high health, can only attack buildings and slow movement speed. Does cost 350 wood. Quite a lot. Let's go ahead and also research the double broad axe. This increases the villagers' gathering rate for wood by 15%. Presence on the doorstep of Bayer would not go unanswered. And now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. Yeah, that's exactly what we should be doing here. Um, also, can I build them right away? Use the infantry to construct these rams? Nah, I'd rather wait because rams are slow. There is the attack. Of course, on my villager there. And I will probably also go right into some barracks because we don't have them yet. Yes, and they're backing off again. That was actually pretty good that we built the wall there. But he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Continue building that wall there. And I'm still training more villages as well. We have the gold down here. How much more gold do we have? 2,800 that are working for us. And wood we have plenty of. So I can really train some units if I just had the, the buildings for it. And let's actually go ahead and build these ramps here. Not entirely sure though. We should really build them here. But we're just going to do that. We're going to prepare these ramps there. Very good. The, the wall is coming along splendidly and we can also build the gates here. As also our very first barracks is completed. Probably would like to have a second one then. But there we have now the men-at-arms and let's also train the early men-at-arms. So an upgrade to them. Ah, and there's the battering rams. And the cool thing is, into these battering rams, we can also put our units, and quite a lot of them too. So 16 fit into one of these. The power of battering rams. The English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. Perfect. So also the three we built. New objective, breach the wall. We do have a couple of options here of entry points that are suggested. Breach the wall would be that. I rather prepare for that. Now, I've learned something from my last, from the last mission that this game is harder than it looks right now. There's going to be more resistance than we think at the moment. So let's go ahead and crack on this training there. I'm building a second barracks. We are also going to build... Uh, some archery ranges so one here and one here i do kind of like keep the road design right the village design that we have also the arsenal and the market for some trading of goods but we have a nice balance there as well uh, but we definitely probably will need some more houses all right my battering rams are ready here oh it's rather claustrophobic I think we can do it. Let's actually build us another one. Let's play it the safe way. And another attack coming in. Just as expected, they're taking down the walls here. Yeah, most of our soldiers right now are in the battering ramps for preparation. So let's just destroy as many as we can. And then we might need to embark these guys here again as well. Especially my melee units there. We also have a tower up there. So we can deploy some villagers in that they can do some damage as well and off they go again okay i think at this point we have quite enough let's move forward we have four full battering rams there with um each one of them having full men at arms and also of course all of these arches i hope we are well prepared for what's to come we are already in h2 so there's no uh, need of upgrading more we cannot build another a landmark we cannot upgrade the tech here nothing really only attacking only full force attacking now that we need to go 
And let's just see, there is Breach the Wolves. That would be our very first one. We are already being shot at. Um, lucky it's only archers. They're not doing a lot of damage to, yeah, well, battering rams. While my archers, my real archers, are getting forward there. And we'll start attacking now on these towers there. Oh, and there's already some melees coming out. So they will be hopefully getting slaughtered now in the process there. Perfect. And we have a bit of space there again for the battering rams. I cannot rotate the camera here so we'll just have to be happy with the outlining there where that's a lot of damage coming in here on us i just hope that it's enough that i have enough units there let's try to take down these arches there very good the wall is falling the gate has fallen Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Mm, i'm not entirely sure that we would really storm the city it's not looking so great, to be honest. Let's embark. Right, so let's get all my men in arms out here. And let's just hope that we can do this still here somehow. Boy, that's a lot of enemies. Alright, let's move my archers a bit forward there and also my men in arms. My archers will keep attacking there the archers on the wall while my men at arms are keep are going to keep destroying the archers on the on the ground here right, let's get also work here with my archers really a lot of units that's incredible all right the cool thing is we can also walk up the the wall there with our melee units once it's being uh, damaged that's pretty cool. And we can also go up here. There is a, a door upwards, right? Because there's a tower. And then we can use this as well to further go in there. I think we have destroyed the main forces there. Right, on. let's just keep destroying these towers there. And reach them, defeat the Bayeu defenders. Oh, there's more of them. And destroy the buildings as well. Now, um, we're losing... Uh, a lot of soldiers there in the in the process. So let's just train us a few more units in the back. That I'm going to send um, over there as well. Right? And I already have also a few more of them that we can get there. So just in case, you know, if there's a bigger attack force coming. Because we're still not very far ahead there. There's Chamber of Commerce. Beautiful buildings, by the way. I like them. As we destroy by you. But why should we destroy by you? We do need it for ourselves, don't we? There is a keep. Oh, for the keep, we should have our battering ram still available. Let's start attacking the keep with the battering ram. And Henry has been injured. Where's Henry? I have no idea where my king is, to be honest. There he is. Oh my goodness, he's really been damaged. Let's send one of my melee units there. My infantry. And my battering rams really should do some damage to this keep here now. Alright, there's some more attacks here. My reinforcements are coming in. This is stressful. This is harder than I thought it would be. More reinforcements down there. And yeah, those battering rams are not completely able to destroy everyone. So I'm going to build a few more of them. With my melee units. And then I'm going to move all of my melee units there to King Henry. Because we really should... Protect our king at all costs. These battering rams take a long time. There's more units down here. There's my boy. That keep is doing a lot of damage. Insane. Let's get out of there. Holy cow. It's going to kill the king once again. <laughs> Incredible. What is that keep up there? That's insane. At least it did not attack the ram in the meantime. And was almost destroyed in the process. And I still have two more rams. Let's wait for the third one. Then we will be able to destroy the keep there. Right, how's it looking down here? More more archers, basically, that we can slaughter with the men at arms. Incredible. And the keep is attacking us from over there and the town hall. There it is. Very good. We got three rams now. Let's move them in there to that keep. We should really be able to destroy it now. Right, 
I think it actually is destroyed. Yep, it's burning down. It burned down. So the cool thing is once these buildings catch fire, they're just burning down if not if no one is actually taking care of them. This battering ram can very well take care of that. There's more units coming once again. We hold the bridge here now. That's the pretty important thing. All right, destroy all the buildings and just defeat the defenders. So no more building destruction, please. Who knows if we really need to keep that city. There was just an outer village, right? There is way more in here. The inner city is still intact. Okay, I'm going to train a few more units there in the meantime. Everything that we kind of can get. And once again, King Henry. Yeah, he's really up there. And it's just so many enemy units everywhere. That's insane. There's more coming down here. Let's back off again a bit. Hold the bridge here. I hope we can hold the bridge up. Uh, we can hold the enemies there. With our archers. And there's still more slaughtering over there. Alright, those units are down at least. We should be really close now in killing all of them. Alright, there we did it. Perfect. Poo, that was that was hard. As Bayer burned and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. <laughs>